Hello, my name is Pastor Dawn and I am the Associate Pastor here at Bethany United Methodist Church. As you can see, we are in the sanctuary, a holy place, a place where we come together in community to worship God. And this is the perfect place to talk about prayer and worship. So first, let's talk about prayer. Do you recall the first prayer that you learned, either as a child or as an adult? I do. The first prayer that I learned as a child was the bedside prayer. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Did you notice that when I prayed, my eyes were closed, my head was bowed, my hands were enclosed? I was taught early on to take that posture when I prayed. But there are many different postures that you can take when you're praying. Some people pray on bended knees, some people pray prostrate out on the ground. Some people have their hands in the air while they're praying. You can pray and take any posture that you want that makes you feel comfortable. When we are praying, it's like we are talking to God like as if we are talking to a friend. It's when we are honest with how we feel, when we are honest with what's in our hearts, recognizing our pain, recognizing our joy, recognizing our worries and our fears, and even our anger, because God wants it all. He wants us to come to him and to lay it all at his feet. And so I offer up to you to take 15 minutes of quiet time with God each day. That could be two minutes of prayer where you're asking God to open up your heart to hear God's voice, and then eight minutes to reflect on, it could be the scripture or it could be a devotional. And then five minutes of prayer where you're having a conversation with God, where you're praying for your needs and the needs of others, where you're asking God to help you to apply the things that you've just read, and where you're sharing how grateful you are to God, how thankful you are to God for all that he has done in and through you. And there is a, a model prayer, and it's called ACTS, ACTS. It's called the ACTS prayer which stands for adoration, confession, thanks, and supplication. And essentially, the model is A stands for adoration, where you're starting your prayer out with, Dear God, I love you. Dear God, I trust you. You are my savior. You are my king. Then you go on to C, which stands for confession, where you are confessing your, your sins. Please forgive me, God for my thoughts or for my actions. Fill me, God, with more of you and less of me. And then T, which stands for thanks, where you're thanking God, thanking God for all that he's done for you. And then S, which stands for supplication, where you are presenting your request to God. God, please help me to be more loving. You see, prayer is a form of worship. And this is a nice segue as we will begin to talk about worship because worship is the action that brings glory to God. It's really an extreme form of love because when we worship, we are recognizing who and what God is and that he is the almighty and that he is the great I am. And we were designed to worship. Psalms 147.11 says, The Lord is pleased only with those who worship him and trust in his love. You see, worship 
is a gift to God. And worship has the ability to bring about change and transformation in our lives. And there's many ways that we can worship. We can worship through our prayers. We can worship through dance, through song. I love to sing. We can worship through reading scripture. We can worship through our tithes and our offerings, through, um, through our time and through our money. We can worship through the sacraments of Holy Communion and baptism. We can worship through attending church here in the sanctuary. Those are just a few of the ways that we can worship. So friends, prayer and worship are critical to our Christian journey. Because when you pray or you worship, you can find peace, you can find comfort, you can find revelation, and you can have transformation. When you seek God through your worship, so I hope that you found this video on prayer and worship helpful. May you be blessed.